You might think now is the time that we are technologically advanced, all thanks to the technological revolution that we're part of today. Well, think again, because ancient Greece was an artistic, political, and economic powerhouse whose visions shaped so many aspects of the modern society that we know today. The ancient Greeks made so many advances in science and technology, and we feel that the Greek engineers and mathematicians were looking at the world very differently. Not only were they able to come up with theories on how the world works, but they also had an alarm clock already in place. If that caught your attention, stick around till the end of the video to know a lot more about the world's first analog computer. We may not know everything about how advanced the Greeks were when it comes to technology, but here's what we know. So let's dive in. Archimedes Screw The Archimedes Screw is a classic example of how a simple machine application has survived the test of time even in the modern era. The first use of the Archimedes Screw dates way back to 250 BC, and there are several theories that suggest that it was invented by the Greek mathematician, physicist, engineer, astronomer, and inventor Archimedes of Syracuse. There are several historians with archaeological evidence that suggests that the Archimedes screw might have had its humble beginnings in Egypt, and Archimedes simply improved upon its earlier design. Regardless of its origin, the Archimedes screw represents a combination of two simple machines, the inclined plane and the cylinder. The plane wraps around the cylinder, making a common screw shape. But this time, the screw is not designed to drill into anything. Instead, the rotation of the screw forces liquids or small materials to move upward. This movement was intended to process liquids, irrigate, or just move anything from a lower level to a higher level with an efficiency of about 89%. Even today, nothing much has changed when it comes to this basic screw design, and that says a lot about how Archimedes was way ahead of his time. Vending Machine Next time you come across a vending machine, keep in mind that something similar existed about 2,000 years ago. Yes, you heard it right. The Greeks already had a coin-operated machine, which is how even today's vending machines work. However, these vending machines were not built to dispense candies or snacks like what we have today, as the very first vending machine was actually used to dispense holy water. With the right amount of coins placed into the slot, the bottom part would open and holy water would dispense to be used in temples. We have to give credit to Heron of Alexandria for inventing the very first vending machine, and he is also responsible for automatic doors as well. Today, Heron is considered to be one of the greatest experimenters of his time, because back in the day, nobody would have thought about putting a coin into a slot to dispense holy water. But Heron definitely did, and this is something we still use even today. Crane Today, you can see cranes almost everywhere, especially in construction sites or even factories. You might think cranes are relatively new, but no, cranes have already existed in ancient Greece. Cranes were used in Mesopotamia for irrigation, and by 515 BC, Greeks had already developed a better, larger, more powerful version that enabled them to move heavy stone blocks. The Mesopotamians invented the cranes to lift large quantities of water. But it was the Greeks that brought this machinery to a whole new level, which helped them create a lot more ambitious architectural marvels. The Greeks developed a system where they could produce a series of different cranes for lifting different types of heavy loads. The Greeks solved a major problem in construction, and that was the movement of heavy materials. Today's cranes might be using electricity, and for good reasons. But it's crazy to think that the Greeks even thought about having a crane, which today is extremely important in several industries, including the construction industry. To think that this existed almost 25 centuries ago is quite phenomenal. Lighthouse There's one thing that most ancient civilizations overlook. That would be safety. But that's not the case with Greeks, because they clearly knew about the threat of hidden reefs and rocks. And that's how the Greeks came up with the idea of a lighthouse, especially the one in Alexandria, built by the Greek Ptolemaic Kingdom of Ancient Egypt. This lighthouse was one of the earliest of its kind, but the lighthouse was slowly destroyed by recurring earthquakes. Even then, 
this lighthouse stood for a thousand years, and that's just huge. Today, this lighthouse is one of the most influential Greek inventions of all time, even with its extremely simple structures. Water Mill We might be taking so many things for granted, all thanks to our modern life and automation when it comes to processing food. But there's one invention that might go completely under the radar, and it's a lot more important than you think. We're talking about the water mill. Wheat and rice might not have been a staple food if we couldn't make flour out of it. That's when a water mill makes a lot of sense. A water mill is a device that is powered by water, used for grinding grains, and even today we use something similar. You have to thank the ancient Greeks and ancient Romans for inventing two major components of the mill, which is the water wheel itself and the gearing that powered the water mill. But only the ancient Greeks alone are credited for inventing the water mill itself. It was invented around the 3rd century BC, and Philo of Byzantium made the earliest known reference of it in his works the Pneumatica and Parascuastica. The mill allowed the production of large quantities of flour, which revolutionized everything back in the day. And that's how today, wheat and rice is considered to be a staple food all thanks to the effort of the Greeks and Romans. Over time, the water mill became a lot more complicated, but the design by the ancient Greeks was so simple, and it will still get the job done just right even today. Odometer An odometer is something that you might be seeing on a daily basis, especially if you drive a lot, and most of the time, you often take it for granted. The invention of the odometer is extremely important for travel and civic planning. And almost everybody uses an odometer today because this device gives the ability to accurately record distances traveled, plan journeys, and even help with forming military strategies. The odometer was invented sometime around the First Punic War. There might be debates over who actually invented the odometer, with Archimedes and Heron of Alexandria being the two main candidates. Regardless of who invented it, the odometer was something that was widely used in the late Hellenistic period. Most odometers that we have today might be completely digital. The Greeks had a mechanical design, which even then evolved into an electromechanical design with the rise of technology. Alarm clock. The alarm clock might be another thing that we often take for granted. We have it in our phones. And before phones, we had actual clocks that would remind you to do something. But would you believe us if we were to tell you that the first alarm clock was actually created in ancient Greece by Tessimus, a Hellenistic engineer and inventor? Yes, that's right. Way back in the 3rd century BC, Tessimus, who is known as the father of pneumatics, developed a water clock which was the most accurate in timekeeping devices back in the day. And things only changed in the 17th century when Dutch physicist Christian Huygens invented the pendulum clock. Tessibus's water clock included pebbles, which would drop into a gong at a very specific time. Plato also had his own alarm clock that very similarly relied on siphoning water into a separate vessel, but instead emitted loud whistles, similar to what you get to hear from a kettle, from its thin holes when the vessel was full. Antikythera Mechanism it was during the spring of 1900 when Captain Dimitri Kontos and a crew of sponge divers from Simi Island discovered the Antikythera shipwreck and also recovered artifacts during the first expedition with the Hellenic Royal Navy. The team retrieved numerous large artifacts, including marble statues, bones, pottery, unique glassware, and a very special mechanical device, which is now known as the Antikythera mechanism. This mechanism is generally referred to as the very first non-analog computer. Yes, the Greeks had a computer about 2,000 years ago. It was used to calculate and display information about astronomical phenomena. The complexity of this mechanism suggests that it might have had undiscovered predecessors made during the Hellenistic period. Its construction might also have relied on so many theories of astronomy and mathematics that were developed by the Greek mathematicians and astronomers during the 2nd century BC. It is estimated to have been built during the late 2nd century or the early 1st century BC. That being said, 
The Antikythera mechanism is arguably one of the most significant and impressive inventions of the ancient Greeks because of its intricate design, giving it the title, the world's first computer. By now, you cannot deny the fact that the Greeks were far ahead of their time, and that's clearly evident from the fact that they had several early versions of complicated machines that we use today, which also includes a computer and an alarm clock. Well, the alarm clock might not be something revolutionary for us today, but it was definitely revolutionary about 2,000 years ago. We have to give the ancient Greek scientists and engineers a lot of credit for their contributions to modern science by thinking outside the box and also for looking at the world differently.